All right. For uh, to clear things up, my my appointments will be uh, Sarah Ford, Brian Brackemeyer, and uh, Clinton Baum. Do I have Do I have a second? Second. Here. All right. We got a motion, and it's been seconded. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed say no. Motion's adopted four to zero. Uh, I would make a motion that we reappoint Dara Oliver to the Whitestown Fire Board. Second. All right, we've got a motion and it's been seconded. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed say no. Motion's adopted four to zero. <clears throat> I would make a motion that we reappoint Jim Cunningham and Susan Austin to the Historic Preservation Committee. Second. All right, we've got a motion that's been seconded. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed say no. Motion's adopted four to zero. I would make a motion that we appoint James Tomlinson Chapman to the Human Relations Commission. Second. Second. All right, we've got a motion and it's been seconded. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed say no. Motion's adopted 4-0. I would make a motion that we appoint Kevin Russell, Clinton Baum to, to the uh, Redevelopment Authority. Second. All right, we have a motion and it's been seconded. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed say no. Motion's adopted. We also need to make the motion that President Eric Miller be on the RDA. Second. All right, we have a motion and it's been seconded. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed say no. Motion's adopted four to zero. All right, we'll move on to the Veterans Committee. And I'm gonna let Vice President Austin go first. I would um, make a motion that we um, nominate Matthew Watson to the Veterans Committee and Angel Badillo. Second. All right, we have a motion that's been seconded. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed say no. Motion's adopted four to zero. I would move to appoint Bill Fletcher, Ron Domrez, Matt Helfen, and Derek Ford to the Veterans Committee. Second. All right, we have a motion and it's been seconded. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed say no. Motion's adopted four to zero. I would make a motion that we appoint Susan Austin to be the liaison to the police board from the council. Second. Why am I not surprised at that? We've got a motion that's been seconded. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 All those no. opposed say no. Motion's adopted three to one. Up next we have letter G, the scheduling of the 2017 Town Council Strategic Planning Workshop.
So last year on February 3rd, we did this. And I think from going down the list, we hit every single target. So I shot myself in the foot with that because I asked you to create a bunch of boards and commissions, which now <laughs> takes up a good portion of my time. Um, but they were created and are being um, implemented and commenced. So it worked very well. We also talked about the, we didn't know, I don't think we knew about SEA 67 money at the time, but we talked about infrastructure projects, including the trail down Indianapolis Road, which connect Eagle's Nest to Traders Point. It's done. It's a little slick in spots, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> we'll figure that out. Um, but it's completed, and I, I can't tell you how many compliments we've gotten and how, much, how many people use it. I can't believe how many people use it. Um, we want to do the same thing this year. Um, so the, the department leaders will come to you with goals and especially capital um, requests for the 2017 uh, strategic planning, especially from an MBH perspective, because we hope that the legislature, when they're done, that we'll have some additional funding for road projects. But in the current budget, if it stays intact, the MBH has about $1.9 million, which will be the most it's ever had. Um, so we really need to dig in and decide what we need to do. So that's why we're asking you on the first, Wednesday the first, to schedule a very similar workshop. I'm free. What the February 1st? Mm -hmm. Works for me. Works for me. Kevin? Um, what time? 6.30 or 7. 7's probably fine. It won't take, shouldn't take long. Didn't take long last year. Unless I don't have something that's supposed to be in here, I'm clear. I think if I remember from speaking with Councilman Wishick, it was fine with him as well. Yeah. <coughs> so do we, do we need a motion on that? I think for your purposes, yes, so that we can put it in the public, put it to the public. All right. I move that we schedule the 2017 Town Council Strategic Planning Workshop for February 1st at 7 p.m. Second. All right, we have a motion and it's been seconded. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed say no. Motion's adopted four to zero. Up next, we have Ordinance 2017-03 on first read. Ordinance 2017-03, an ordinance of the Town Council of the Town of Whitestown, Indiana, restructuring the Whitestown Parks Board. Okay, moving on to letter I on the agenda, DNR funds uh, for the Big Four trail land. As I briefly mentioned earlier, um, the for DNR funds for the trailhead or for the the spalding. Okay, yeah. The as I previ previously mentioned, um, the DNR gave the okay yesterday to move forward that they would fund out of remaining BNT funds um, the additional acquisition. Um, we'll get the the quotes. Um, we'll get one. The property owner said they'll get one, so we'll have the two quotes. Um, and then it'll have to be paid for that half up front, and then the DNR will reimburse us that amount. Um, so by the time it'll be 60 to 90 days going through the DNR process, um, so by then we'll hopefully have budget numbers and we can see where we can temporarily pay for it, waiting on the reimbursement, um, whether we park impact fees and then reimburse to the fees or however. Um, but it'll acquire the additional 4.5 acres. Just kind of want the blessing moving forward with acquiring the land and take care of this. Do we need the resolution of intent? Do we need the appraisals? DNR stated no, right? DNR is, is good with one appraisal. But they don't require two because they do an internal. Um, but yeah, we're required to have two. Yes, one could be one in a review appraisal. If, they, if DNR does their own review appraisal, Two, and then they can do a one and do two, so. 
So we need to authorize the appraisal. Well, or Spalding's are doing. There's a couple different things. We're going to really pay attention to quoting. Mm -hmm. Do you want us to get three? I mean, appraisals are typically always about the same amount of money. And do you want us to get quotes for appraisals or just order an appraisal? The person that did the last appraisal. <coughs> Last appraisal, since this doesn't have to be yellow book, it can be conventional. Um, it was 750 when we appraised the land before, and they've said they'll redo that appraisal. Since they have to use all new comparables, it still work. Um, but they said they'll do it for $600. I mean, it's a small amount, so. Okay. I make the motion that we authorize Nathan to have the appraisal updated, not to exceed $1,200. And then there'll be some other little, like having engineering drawn up because we are separating a parcel but mm -hmm. those I mean we have a town engineering I believe they have I mean like we use town engineering I'm sure they have do you have staff on hand that does legal the mm -hmm. deeds and so forth so then there'll be some small fees in that but other than that so and those you are usually minimal bring those to us when they come up yes so we'll need to do the resolution of the uh, expressing interest to purchase first appraisals and then move on is that an official resolution number it is an official resolution what would be our next resolution uh zero two we can i mean it's you're gonna have to remember this and write it's it pretty down. simple right That we use every time. It's every time. So then I make a motion using the standard form we use every time. Numbered 2017-02 to express interest in purchase of the Spalding property. I'll second that. All right. We have a motion that's been seconded. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed say no. Motion's adopted four to zero. Is that all on DNR fund? I do believe so. Okay. <laughs> all right, moving on to letter J, uh, HSA front loading. It's come to our attention that many of the, with the, the employee benefit that we provided the HSA to help offset the expenses of meeting the higher deductibles that we have with having an HSA, that many of the state and other local agencies actually front load the HSA contribution um, up to half of it in the first month of the year and then measure out the remaining throughout the rest of the pay periods so that it's um, it helps the employee hit their um, offset some of those abilities our, our intent is that the the HSA helps offset that deductible by giving them more of that deductible up front it helps them manage their health expenses more easily without such a huge hit to, to their pocket. I would recommend that we also follow suit and follow that HSA front loading to give that same benefit to our employees. I agree with Susan. I think that's a great idea and is a thing that is positive for the employees. Being a state employee, you know, the state has that same thing and uh, just recently we had our front load of the 50% of the HSA, which is going to be very helpful paying off the hospital bills from the eight week old we have at home. So I think it's something that's good uh, to have on the home front. So I completely support that. Yeah, I'm, I'm certainly supportive of the concept. I don't know about you, Kevin. I got nothing. So, so what do what do we need to do to implement that? I would make a motion that we request the clerk treasurer front load uh, the remaining of the 50% in the next pay cycle for the HSA and then split the remainder throughout the remaining pay periods of 2017. Second. All right, we have a motion and it's been seconded. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed say no. Motion's adopted four to zero. 
All right, moving on to letter K, uh, additional funding for the special census. I knew this was coming. Um, Janetta approached me today. She had received a call from the census office. This is a federal project, remember? Mm -hmm. So um, that th we were going to be about. You all made a motion January of 16 for not to exceed $150,000. We're at 100. We, ha we have $8,000 remaining. Janetta stated of the original $138,000. So the, 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 co the quote they gave us, the estimate they gave us was $138,000. We've spent 130 to date. There's two more payroll periods left. They run about $10,000 each. So we will go over, you are not to exceed $150,000 mark by close to 10,000 if we do not have you make a motion to either amend the original motion or just to uh, approve an additional, I would suggest 20,000 just to be safe um, to, so that we can, we can pay the census. How much more work do we have? Are, are we sure that they're gonna get it completed in the next two pay cycles or? Yes, they stated there's 10 days left. They're 84% complete. Okay. We heard, we, today she said they're 84% complete. There's, she said within 10 days they should close out. The and there will there be any extra stragglers or anything like that? There shouldn't be. We're really at, we paid for everything else, the phone lines. There may be a phone line bill for Lexington Circle that will shut off. Um, that was Chuck Willing's favorite thing he's ever done in his life. Um, there may, you know, other than that, there won't be any. Yeah. Then I'd, I'd make a motion that we authorize an additional uh, $25,000 towards the special census. I'll second that. All right, we have a motion that's been seconded. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed say no. Motion's adopted four to zero. Moving on to letter L, town administration backup. Well, when Dax is gone, we kind of need to know who to go to for town administration. And I know that when I have made calls, I've been able to catch Jason. And I would make the motion that we, we recognize Jason Lawson as being second when we're unable to get a hold of Dax because he always knows where Dax is too. I'll second that. Okay. So Jason becomes the second, second in command to go to when we're unable to catch Dax. Susan, I couldn't hear a word you said, I apologize. I was making a motion that Jason be second in command when Dax is not here, so he is our go-to okay. person. Right. Well, he's first in command when I'm not here. <laughs> Any when I course. shut my phone off and go to Hawaii. I know, but it's rare you shut I, your phone off. I never off, shut so. my phone off and I never go to Hawaii. So he's second in command. <laughs> all right, all those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed say no. Motion's adopted four to zero. All right, moving on to the town administration report. Yes, I think you have in front of you, and I may have left the room to print some things off. The you're in review from Tanya. Mm -hmm. Isn't that amazing? I think we're having a tornado. I'm not sure. Um, got a lot done. Proud of the staff, met a lot of goals. Um, we strengthened our internal controls, which I'm, we're continuing to strengthen. We're becoming much more professional about how we pay attention to the budget and how we spend money and how we listen to the council. Um, new procedures in place, and so I'm very proud about that. Um, what I said last year to you all was that we were moving from a startup company, the chaos of a startup company, to a much more professional uh, stage two. And I'd say that this staff's to be commended for doing um, just that, and I'm impressed. So you have this in front of you. Um, you've seen it. I'll give it to Elizabeth so she can write a bunch of good stuff about it in the paper. Um, 
Second, the, the bonds. The Perryworth Road bond is closed. The additional money was sent back to cover debt service. Town Hall bond today, we found out, has $33,000 left. There are two major projects left to do here. The lighting, converting all to LED, which I've gotten quotes anywhere from $8,000 to $16,000. The problem I'm finding is that the $8,000 product is a product that the industry doesn't like, and it's a product that would have to be replaced in a certain amount of years. So it's been an interesting process of getting quotes for LED lighting because uh, it, it really is you get what you pay for. Um, the good standard yellow um, LED lighting that lasts a long time, the quotes are running in, around $16,000, and that replaces every single box out there, which there are 127. We get rid of every ballast, every fluorescent bulb. Um, this room's already been done, um, so this room is being powered with LED light. The gym is already done. Um, so that just what remains is the lighting in the in the main hallways and the in the offices. I I would like to see that be one project. So I'd like to bring quotes to you um, for approval. Um, the second is some additional AV items. The projector in here is old. I believe that we also could use two monitors right here, one on each side. Uh, those would be 90-inch monitors. Those are very large. Um, we, I also want, uh, Councilman Russell, when it's working, and his, his inner ear monitor actually caught on fire, believe it or not. I don't know what he was doing to it, but it caught on fire and the battery melted inside of it. Um, I'm, Ovation's coming. So Ovation, who did all this work, they're coming tomorrow to do an additional assessment of a couple of different items that we need that would make it much more user-friendly as a building um, to use AV, especially since we're renting so much. Chuck, how many pageants do we have coming in? So we have one, every, one beauty pageant every month in this facility. Um, the plays, the, 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 the meetings, the EDC is going to hold a meeting here. So that I think the, the next item is the upgrade of the AV, and then I think we can close out the town hall bond. So that's my ask of you all that we move forward with those two items with the remaining money in the town hall bond. Um, Maple Grove is still opened. Uh, the landscaping, the much missed landscaping <laughs> down the parkway. We've looked at an engineer, DLZ, uh, DLZ is the engineer who's been here. They have a landscape architect and landscape engineering wing in their firm. They've given us a, a quote for services, which is $7,300. I will put it in front of you in formal document a meeting. I think that's very good to do the full and complete design. We think it's going to come in around $140,000 to do it right. Um, that landscapes the entrance signs. It moves this entrance sign back a little bit, adds lighting and landscaping. It adds landscaping to this entrance sign in the back of it because right now it's just a plain Jane box. And then does your trees, shrubs, um, grasses in the in the median. It'll, it, it'll be it'll be a knock. It'll knock your socks off it'll be nice um, I know they're really excited to get going so I'll put that in front of you in February so that we can get that signed and they can begin the engineering process so that we can get it out to bid in time for spring of course if it's under a certain amount of money we won't have to bid we'll have to do the quoting process which will be helpful um, that'll, that would I suggest that come out of the, town, uh, the Maple Grove bond because the median was built with encumbered MVH dollars last year that was originally supposed to come out of the Maple Grove bond that did not come out of the Maple Grove bond. So that would be my suggestion of how we um, pay for the landscaping project, the beautification of the parkway is what we're calling it. So There may be an opportunity to add solar lighting in the median. So we're having that discussion right now. So it's been talked about by residents, quite a few. We've got a lot of sun around here. The solar stuff works. Have you seen the sun? <laughs> in a couple Not days. In a while. <laughs> They've also got a unit that is powered by the wind, which we don't hesitate to have any wind around here. None. None. Wind's not a problem. 
So that's all I have. Um, we're obviously well into the new year. Um, excited about it. I guess I do have a couple announcements with your approval of the salary ordinance tonight. I think Brittany is here tonight. Um, are you here? Look at her. She's going to get shy on us. Um, with the salary ordinance, she will be moving up in our world from administrative assistant of the plan department to be the assistant planner slash administrative assistant. So she's excited about it. She has uh, done her her duty that I've asked her to do, which is to enroll in uh, WGU. Um, and I think she'll probably use the town's reimbursement policy a little bit. I've encouraged her to do that. Um, Dave Taylor is here. Dave is now the uh, department leader of the building department. Um, Chuck, I always give Chuck praise and he always leaves the room. <laughs> so, but he's here now and he's doing a great job. I think that is all for tonight. D uh, Tanya is now the official department leader of the, f uh, the new Department of Public Relations, which I think is important. Um, and so I'll just I congratulate the entire staff uh, for a job well done. We're looking forward to a new year. I want to thank you all. I did notice in the salary ordinance that you put me at a, a higher rate. Um, I don't ever ask for that, but I want to tell you all publicly my appreciation for that gesture. So, thank you. All right. Any other business? Congratulations to all of you. Yes. Thank you for all the hard work you do. Mm-hmm. Mr. President, move that we adjourn. Second. All right. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed say no. Meetings adjourned at 8 11 p.m. <laughs>